India has a lot of rockets that are powered by liquid fueled engines. So basically liquid fueled engines are the most sophisticated to master. It is his center, the liquid propulsion system center that actually develops these engines for Indian rockets. So we're joined by Dr. Narayanan, the director of the center. So kindly tell us, you've uh, readied all the engines that are required for the Gaganyaan program. They're just raring to go, right? Yeah. So if you take Gaganyaan, and the developments are, first we have to human rate the LVM3 vehicle. LVM3 vehicle is having three propulsion system, two solid motors and there is a core liquid stage and the cryogenic upper stage. Now if you take all the engines are human rated. For example, one thing I can tell, if you take cryogenic upper stage, in four engines we have carried out something around 40 numbers of tests and we have accumulated 9000 seconds of test data. All tests are successful and today we have declared the engine is human rated. Take the core liquid stage, something around 25 tests are completed and we have totally completed the development and qualification and we have declared the human rated L11 stage. Same way, solid motor also we have completed the test. Thereby, in nutshell, all the propulsion systems of the vehicle is human rated. Also, you are developing methane LOX engines for the future rockets, so tell us more. Yeah, it is the for the new generation launch vehicle, which is going to be powered by a liquid oxygen and methane propulsion system. It has got a engine working on liquid oxygen and methane with 110 tons of thrust and the first stage will be powered by nine engines second stage will have two engines upper stage will have one engine it is a modular concept right now we are in the process of completing the design of the engine in fact during the covid time we conceived a 20 ton engine we carried out all the experiments and we have derived lot of data right now we are in the process of completing the design of the engine and going for manufacturing through indian industries Thank you, sir. Thank you.